we are looking at this phrase begs the question or begging the question. Now, for centuries, the phrase begs the question was used only as a technical phrase to refer to a fallacy in reasoning, a common mistake in reasoning. And the fallacy is a type of circular reasoning, but it's a little bit more subtle than that. One assumes the truth of the conclusion in order to support one of the premises in an argument. So, for example, imagine you're talking about American football and you say football players are male and football players ought to be male, so females should not play football. Now, that's begging the question. The only reason to accept the second claim that only males ought to play football is if one already assumes that females should not play football. So that's an example of begging the question. That's what we mean. You assume the truth of the conclusion to support a premise. Now, somehow people began to use this phrase, begs the question, when they really meant something like props the question or leads one to question or brings one to question. Well, language is fluid, meanings of words and phrases change, uh, so I suppose we should allow this change, but it's important to recognize that when you're talking about a mistake in reasoning and when some, someone says, begs the question, that they are committing this fallacy.